What's going on you guys, Uncle Jesse here. I have got my rubber gloves on and I'm ready to do some work on my Frozen Sonic Mini. I wanna show you guys an upgrade. It's a really basic upgrade to the Frozen Sonic Mini that will fix some of the issues. Let's call them that. I mean, it wasn't huge issues, but it was just a few, few little gripes that I might have had with the original Sonic Mini. So let's check it out. So here's the new angled build plate. This is gonna be very similar to the flat build plate that came with the Sonic Mini. Uh, one thing is that it's definitely not as thick on the top on the sides there, but it is, again, tapered in. There's also a portion here that goes straight up in the middle so that no resin is collecting or pooling in the center of the build plate, which will again happen here on this flat build plate. So you're not only gonna have to clean off the sides, but also be mindful of resin that's collecting inside the middle portion there. The installation process is gonna be very simple for this. It's just gonna screw right on here. I've loosened all of the bolts, bolts, bolts on the side here. And it's just gonna be a matter of doing the level build plate process. And then once it's down, I can tighten this up. So as I mentioned, I just received today, very excited about this, the upgraded build plate here. So let's get this out. Woo! Hello, not build plate, this is a vat. Get your terms right, Uncle Jesse. So this is my new all metal vat FEP pre-installed. It does actually look kind of dirty, so I'll probably clean that off, but it should allow me to really print any type of resin inside of this machine and not have to worry about any sort of damage or discoloration or anything like that with the vat. The other reason why I bought this, other than just to show it off to you guys, is that I like having multiple build plates for these, I keep saying build plates, I like having multiple vats for these smaller resin printers, like the Sonic Mini, like the Elgu Mars. And the reason is I can very easily swap out, in and out of uh, my vats here. Let's say that there's a failed print. I don't have to sit here and wait until I've cleaned out the vat, cleaned out everything, uh, uh, filtered out the resin, all that before I can get a print up and running. Uh, typically, if I'm running jobs or prints for a project, I wanna just keep running continuously. So this will enable me to have multiple vats here, not build plates, and uh, just continue printing with them. So it's super, super helpful, especially for those of you, if you're running Etsy businesses and printing, let's say miniatures over on Etsy, you should really invest in having multiple vats. This way you're not having really any sort of downtime with your printer up and running. All right, so now that I've got the vat in place, I've got the build plate attached here. It is loose where it's relatively moving loosely here. I should be able to now go into tools and there we go. Go into the Z calibration. By the way, uh, I just did a video over on the Frozen uh, Transform versus the Piopoli Phenom. One of my call-outs about the Transform is that I really did not like the interface. The Sonic Mini has such a smooth and easy to use interface. So really happy with this machine. And I've been printing with this pretty much nonstop over the last few weeks here. Here we go. Tighten all four screws. Looking good, looking good. So before I add any resin in there, I'm gonna apply a little bit of this PTFE lubricant in there. If you're not already familiar with this, I did a video on it uh, a little while ago. I'll include a link up here somewhere. I believe it's in this corner over here where you can check that out. But basically what this does is make sure it helps uh, lubricate the vat FEP sheet so that your prints don't stick to the vat. All right, let's add in some resin and throw down a print. And a special thank you to all my Patreon supporters. I couldn't do this without your help. If you're interested in helping support this channel, you can find links in the description below. All right, and my quick two and a half hour print is completed. This angled build plate worked perfectly. I don't have any resin pooling along the top of the build plate like I was getting on the flat build plate. Obviously, if my model is hollowed, I might have to worry about some resin dripping out of the model here or just residue that's left over around the, the edges there. Uh, but yeah, in general, the print perf it printed perfectly as expected and the vat held up nicely as far as I can tell. Uh, I did not previously mention the pricing. The angled build plate is $40 over on Amazon and the all metal vat here is $50. If you're interested in picking up either of those upgrades or the Frozen Sonic Mini, I'll have links down below. 
Uh, I can't recommend the Sonic Mini enough. If you're interested in a, a new resin 3D printer and you want one that prints really fast, I highly, highly recommend this guy here. It's just a, a beast of a little machine. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this little rundown of some upgrades for this Frozen Sonic Mini. Uh, and again, if you're interested in any of the things that I've shown, I'll have links down below. Hey, thanks again for watching and I will see y'all next time. Bye now.